Good morning, you guys. This is Perry over at Elevated Waters TV. Let's go ahead and get this business out the way. If you could, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, hit a like on my video, and please share with some of your friends. I would really, really appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Well, you guys, today is the day before New Year's, and we finally made it out of this crazy year. You know, some of us are still here, man. Some of us, I don't know where you guys are at, but we're all in this together, man. I don't want anybody to think that they weren't affected by this pandemic. You know, it's just part of life. It came, it hit us, nobody saw it coming. The main thing is though, we gotta stick together and continue to do what we gotta do to maintain. You know, uh, teamwork makes the dream work. It's, it's, it's a simple equation. If you need help, ask for it. Closed mouths don't get fed. You know, I'm, I'm a smart individual. I'm not a dummy. I got a 4.0 in college, man. I mean, I'm pretty sure if you run some problems by me, I'll be able to help you with it. All you got to do is reach out, leave a comment, leave a message personally to me, and I will reach out to you. Nobody's too good for this. Like I said, we all have to stick together and make this work. We all have to stick together and make this work, which leads me into my next topic. I really appreciate all the support I've gotten from my subscribers and my fans. Without you guys, there is no me, and I appreciate it. I mean, right now, I think I have about 33 subscribers, which isn't a lot, but it's something, and it means that people are supporting me and they are listening. So I appreciate it and thank you. I'm gonna continue to give you guys the content, the tips and the techniques to catch these big bass, man, and all kind of other fish too. But like I said, man, I really, really appreciate you guys, which actually leads me into my next topic. Let's get into that. I actually started a video the day before Christmas and got all the footage done for you guys. But then when I took it over to my editor, I realized, you know, it's the holidays and everybody needs to spend time with their family. So I just decided to let it rest for a while and figure out something that I could do for you guys. And I decided to do a giveaway. So this giveaway I decided to do is going to be so simple. I'm just going to need you guys to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and please share with your friends. That's all I need you to do. Just three things. It's that easy. And I'm telling you, I went out and I got some lures for this cold winter bass. They're really good ones also. Let me get into them. I got a couple of underspins for you guys. I got some blade baits. Oh, you know I just couldn't go without getting you guys some Sankos. I got some Robo Worms, and I also got some deep diving crankbaits. And in my video, I'm actually gonna talk about why I selected these specific um, lures for the giveaways. I decided to get these particular lures because it's winter time, and these lures are spectacular in the winter time. This is the time where the bass are literally stomachs down in the mud. They're not moving and they're not chasing any bait. So you might as well just throw something really slow moving that can help you target these bass. If you can get a reaction strike, then good luck. It's hard, man. This is probably the hardest time of the year. Now on the second note, there's not that many people out fishing right now because it's so cold. That can work into your favor because now your favorite bodies of water aren't gonna be pressured and the bass aren't gonna see as many lures as they do in the summertime. So that could be an advantage for you. And I've also seen that a lot of four plus pound bass are actually caught in the winter time when it's really, really, really slow. So this is the time to actually get out there and throw some of these lures. So I wanna go ahead and jump into the video. And like I was saying earlier, I really, really appreciate you guys, man. We made it through this year and let's continue into 2021 on a new note, you know, and let's be positive and stay vigilant. So like I said, let's get into this video and thank you guys for watching. This is Perry at Elevated Waters TV. Thank you guys.
Hey, what's up you guys? This is Perry, Elevated Waters Fishing. First thing I need you guys to do is hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and please share my channel. And today is the day before Christmas, Christmas Eve 2020. Wow, what a year. I thought that I would go to Bass Pro Shops and I was gonna do a video on winter lures. And then I started thinking, well, it is the day before Christmas, so why don't I just grab some lures that I can give away for gifts, you know, for all my subscribers and my followers and all the people that love elevated waters fishing. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna head to Bass Pro Shops. I'm gonna get some lures for all my subscribers and all my fans, and we're gonna get it out to you guys as soon as possible. That's what we're gonna do. So I'm going to head down to Bass Pro Shops and I'm going to pick up some cool winter lures that can be used on these cold, cold winter front days. I mean, right now I'm in Vegas and the temperature is about 40 de degrees, 42 degrees. That's pretty cold. And you need special lures to get down deep into that water where these bass are hiding. But I'm going to get into that later. Let's go. And it's crazy because at this time of year, the bass are very deep in the water column. It is so cold that they are literally stomached in the mud deep and they're not going to move at all. They're just going to look at lures go by and they're going to watch them just pass by and you're not going to get hit if you don't have the right lures at this time of year. So I'm going to go through and pick out a few lures that I know are going to catch some fish at this time of year. So I think my top five baits that I'm going to grab for these giveaways are going to be some Sankos, um, of course, I'm going to want to get some drop shot stuff. I'm going to want to get some deep diving jerk baits. Those are killer in this winter post frontal situation. Um, I'm also going to probably look into a couple of lipless crankbaits and possibly even a few underspin bladed lures. So like I said, let's just get out here and go see what they got for this time of year and let's get going. So I'm on the hunt for some Sankos, number one on my list. Let's go see if we can find some. Oh, look what I've ran into, the Sankos. Let me see if I can find that good June bug color. Way at the bottom, good old June bug. Gots to have them. What's up, man? What's up, Bassy Bassy? That thing is huge. Next on my list is the drop shot. So let's go see what they have in terms of worms. Me personally, I like robo worms. So let's go see what they have. Dun, dun. Here we go, here we go. Robo worms. And for the robo worms and the drop shot, I like to get two colors. I like the Aaron's Magic. And I like the, where is it at? The Red Blood Ox Red Flake. Here we go. You can't go wrong with these two colors. Look at this one. 
And next on my list for those deep cold water bass are the deep diving jerk baits. You know, they'll dive and hit deep and they'll just sit there and just jerk, jerk, twitch, twitch, and maybe one of those cold water bass will hit. So let me go see what kind of selection they have on that. And for the deep diving crankbaits, we're gonna go with the Deep X Rat 10. Here we go. That is the one, guys. Wow, that's amazing. And next on the list is the underspin baits. So let me go see what they have in terms of that. Let's go. Ah, uh, here they are. And we're gonna go with that good natural shad. And we're gonna go with that chartreuse shad. Here you go. And last but not least is the blade baits. I'm on my hunt to find those now. Those are very, very important for these slow, lethargic cold water baths. So let's go see what I can find. Colors that I like are the Mean Eye Purple Shad and the Golden Black right here. These are my two favorite colors for these blade baits. Oh, yeah. 